Welcome to Lagos, the city of hustle, of opportunities, of chaos. Nigeria's heart of commerce, where if you're not streetwise, you could get left behind. The average salary is not enough to start and raise a family, thus having more than one job is inevitable and is becoming an even stronger trend here in this city. No unemployment benefits, so everyone understands that if you do not work, you do not eat. Here it is most parents dream for their kids to study what they deem as the more prestigious courses. But with the ever-changing state of the economy, people are relying less on salaries and more on entrepreneurial income. Meet four of such entrepreneurs who have taken the bold step of starting a business in the city of Lagos. I want to travel on a lifelong trip. Three supermodels in the back of the whip. Buying expensive wine for a sip. Give it with a couple grand for a tip. With a prick. May God bless with a search for the wealth, with a chase success. My name is Falari Falano, AKA Files, the bad guy. I'm a musician slash entertainer, and I am also a qualified barrister. I studied at the University of Reading in the UK, and um, after which I came back in 2010 to Nigeria. I went to the Nigerian Law School in Abuja and qualified as a barrister. So I rap, basically, but it's a mix of different sounds. I don't like to be put in a box, you know, so you will find that I do um, some R&B, I do some pop, I do some Afro beat. I, I have some, I mix some indigenous Nigerian sounds like Fuji, like High Life, you know, with contemporary sounds, you know, so I try to find that blend and that new sound that, you know, a lot of people are not tapping into yet. So, you know, predominantly hip hop, but with, with, with a lot of twists, a lot of flavors to it. Yeah. In the, in the near future, you know, I, I definitely would like to um, pay more attention to the uh, legal side of me. I'm trying to see how I can still further develop my, myself in the, in the sense that I'm still looking at you know, maybe furthering my education, you know, maybe doing a master's and try, trying to focus on stuff like intellectual property law because that is very, very uh, directly linked to music and you know, um, you know, intellectual property stuff. So that could definitely help me be very well, uh, very well learned in that area and you know, if I do have to maybe specialize and continue to be in active practice, you know, maybe after some time, then that could be very helpful. So I'm looking into that. How far? How far? Hi, my name is Buki Bello. I'm the CEO of Bell Africana. I studied biochemistry at the University of Westminster in London. Right, she said she was going to start sewing. So that was the first day she talked about Bell Africana to me and then she was thinking of the name and she started choosing the name and coming up with different concepts of clothes, of books, of this and that. Yeah, that was the first day. Well, Africana, you know, we use, we promote local content by using African fabric for corporate, for gift items, you know, interior decorations and wares. So we are also um, a marketplace for Afrocentric and handmade products. Because ever since we started, we started people we started to find like meet artisans that were doing awesome things, you know, locally and handmade. And currently we've you know synergized with people that do these things. So we're more like a create creative industry as we use African textile for like bags, you know, corporate gifts because they can also be branded. We also do like wedding souvenirs and so many cool things. I think for me the main objective was to create jobs to be a manufacturer because it was getting to a point where everything was getting imported and things were getting expensive and we have so many raw materials here in our country we have so many things in different sectors you know local content so for me i think in five years time in nigeria i see nigeria as that country where local content will be promoted it's been great working for them because they help me improve on what I do. They expose me to new styles and clients and really improve my skills too. How far? How far? I'm Demi Ademusha. I studied economics at the University of Birmingham 
in England and I'm currently setting up a juice bar. While I was studying, I set up a company that was an online retailer for African fashion um, and me and my partners ran that for three years and then after I finished university, I got to stay back in England on an entrepreneur, entrepreneurship visa running that company. And, you know, a year down, I realized that it wasn't really going in the direction that I was hoping it would go. So I thought, okay, move back to Nigeria, but I didn't want to do a nine to five. And so I sort of fell into this because I had a passion for juicing. I was already juicing and the market just seemed to be ready for like this sort of, this sort of business. I think in Nigeria, the, there are two reasons that, you know, off the top, I can think of why entrepreneurship is so, you know, so popular now. The first reason is that the labor market wage conditions are, are really poor. So, you know, you're earning probably half of what your, your peers will be earning in England or America if you're working here, even in like the professional jobs. And so a lot of people in Lagos have side hustles. And what happens is that those side hustles, you know, if they're bringing in a bit of money, then they sort of turn into full-on businesses. So I, I guess everyone is sort of trying to move into that, that direction of like running your own thing. The second thing is our economy is so young in terms of just the number of industries that are out there. And so there's so much still to be done. And whereas, you know, if you go to, if you go to England and you want to set up an advertising company, there's like DDB and all these huge establishments. Here, you look around and you're like, you know, I can call my friend and we can actually like start this thing. So there's, the market is still virgin in that way. And there's so many opportunities and young people are like, we might as well like, you know, take, take those opportunities and do stuff. How far? How far? Hi, my name is Kemi Adekuli. I work in Rent Money as a sales associate and I'm also a baker. I don't know exactly how I came to mix the two, but um, baking started as a passion. I actually love, I love cakes. I, I can't eat any kind of, except fruit cakes, and I make sure I don't bake fruit cakes anyways. So I, I actually like, I like cakes a lot, so I just thought it would be a nice idea to learn how to bake. I think it was after the university, before the youth service. Uh, she said instead of sitting at home, she wants to do something. And I can see the passion in her that she likes cooking, and she said she wants to to do the to do baking and we encourage her. The idea or the dream or the vision that I have is is a lot bigger than just staying in the house and baking. I actually think I need to go to school to learn properly and everything. So eventually I, I think I would I would stop work. But I like the nine to five and I like juggling the two. I don't because I, I like work, I like the career path and I also like the business business part. But I'm not really a business person. <laughs> It's difficult, it's difficult because you have to try as much as possible to get your music heard. You know, that, that is not easy. If you start something, you have to be able to believe in growth. Nigeria also is a growing economy. I know that one day we'll get there, you know. We'll get to a point where even diaspora will be running back home because there's no place like home. Actually, off the bat, I can't actually think of anything that's gone disastrously wrong, but I'm like bracing myself because I know something is bound to like go wrong pretty soon. Young people should be encouraged to go after their passion, um, subject to the advice of parents and others who may help them. Um, there's a need to combine the experience of parents and the advice of parents with the choice of young people. Uh, but parents should not insist. Someone told me long ago, say life could better. Still we day under the weather. Someone told me how far. And since 1960, we don't do work And even now, self is still dead, the matter. How far? How far? How far? Why? Tell me how far. Why life for here just be somehow? Why some people don't forget food when they want chow? Yet some people feel injects for the compound. Ha. Why that money no fit come round? So when I need me self, I'll have some on ground. Why children no fit go school? Why them they unsound? Why they no fit fulfill their dreams as they for like to? 